السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear friends how are you um, I saw you two days ago and we continue our science course today with the session about the water part how many different types of uh, of water forms do we have last week we studied land forms today we study the bodies of water that we have on earth, on earth the whole planet so let's share my screen so that you know what I'm talking about here yes thank you we go here this is our beloved school here the first item that or term that we're studying is the water cycle what's the water cycle I guess that we referred to this some time ago while we were in our usual classes um, when we when we were in our usual classes, we we studied how to change the water form from one ma type of matter into another. Let's say, how can I remind you with this? We had some water. We wanted to change them into steam or water vapor. What should I do? Hmm? I'm giving you a chance to to talk to me. Yes, true. We just boil them. We expose them to intense heat, like the heat of the sun. So we find out that the there is water vapor, there is steam coming out of that. This steam, if it's in big amount of gas went up in the sky, the sky is too cold, it's cold. So that the hot vapor or the hot gas just hit a cold roof. Hot gas hit a cold roof, which is the sky. So it turns back into drops of water and comes on earth like in the form of uh, rain. This is what we call the water cycle, which is the movement of water from the Earth's surface. It was in, in, a, la in a lake and river and the sea, and then went, to, went into the air. And then it went back to the Earth's surface in the form of rain. This is the water cycle. We have salt water. Where can I find this? Yes, in seas, in the ocean. I find this kind of water. And can we drink it? Do we drink it? Do you go to the sea and you get a cup of seawater and you drink it? No, I don't think we do this. Why? Because it contains salt and it, 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 it harms our body if we did. We're not going to taste it anyway. Yes. So what, what, what do we drink? And is water very important for people or for humans or for living things on earth? Sure. It's crucial it's very important we need it we can't live without it so fresh water is what we drink if the water that has le very li little or no salt in it so today we have a new term which is a glacier what's a glacier it's a large body of ice which is moving sometimes you, you call it the river of the ice because when we have big am big amount of ice moving, it can kill you. I guess that you maybe if you're watching movies or something about uh, Mount Everest or such mountains that they climb, you, you find that the ice is moving. Streams. What are streams and where can I find them? Let's check that. Maybe it's your first time to hear about this word. So streams are small bodies of water, so they are not big. If they are big, we call them another thing that we, we know later. They are formed when the water moves from a higher place into a lower one. So higher into lower, we create some streams. I, I guess I put the, the other presentation before this presentation so that you see the bodies of water that we're talking about. So now I guess that you remember the stream the stream picture in which some water are moving and there are some rocks in in the way and it's moving from up to down rivers rivers we're, we're very sorry that we don't have rivers here in saudi but in egypt we have one in iraq we have two and there are some rivers around the world uh, rivers are large bodies of flowing water so streams rivers and rivers may flow the end into a lake or in the ocean or in the sea like the river Nile. the river Nile just dropped the, its water in the um, 
in the Mediterranean Sea, which is in Egypt, not in the Red Sea, the, 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 the sea that is between Egypt and Saudina in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, so these, these are the rivers. Fresh water source. Where do I get it? From rivers. And salt water is from ocean or from the sea. Like so, if you went if you went to the, um, the Red Sea, this is salt. Water. We can drink fresh water, or we can drink salt water. We we studied this, or we talked about this in the first slide. Most of the Earth's surface is covered with water. Allah created the whole Earth. Allah created the whole universe. He created the Earth with like seventy-one percent of it is water allah has his own reasons and this is may indicate that how how important water is for everything on earth for us that's why we have a high percentage of water inside our body as we said that the difference between salt water and fresh water is the amount of salt sometimes we find salt in both of them but the percentage in the salt water is higher, while in the fresh water maybe it's very little or it's nothing. It's not there. So, what are lakes? Lakes. You saw some uh, pictures of lakes uh, or a picture of a lake in the previous um, presentation. And we in Egypt we have a lake, which is Lake Nasser, and it's a man-made lake, not nature-made. So uh, people may, made it, they, they assigned it a part of the land so that the water of the river Nile drop in it. So lakes are bodies of, water, of fresh water surrounded by land. And lake, how do we form uh, lakes? They are formed when water fills up places uh, on the land. It's a low land and water comes so it stays there and it, the land surrounds it. Now let's answer some of the questions that we have. You have some time to think about the question. And if you're watching the video, you pose it. You know the, the instructions. If you're watching, if you are using the, pop, uh, the PowerPoint presentation, you just don't click unless you answer the question. How are oceans and lakes different? How are they different? Ocean, lake, ocean, lake. Yes, true. Lakes are much smaller, smaller because ocean is extremely huge. How are streams, rivers, and lakes alike? Now, I would like to compare between them to show the similarities. They all have fresh water. So in the, in, uh, like two or three slides ago, I said that you get fresh water from rivers. Sometimes you get it from lakes, also or streams. How are lakes different from rivers? Lake and river, what's the difference? Lake is still water. They don't move while rivers should move. And you know that the River Nile is the longest river in the whole world, while the Mississippi is the, or sorry, the Amazon is the widest, I guess. Now, more than 25% of the lakes around the world actually contain salt water. So we have some lakes with salt water as well. Thank you so much for watching this, and I hope that you're studying and you're doing great as usual, as I, as all, as I always see you. Uh, thank you so much till we meet, meet again in the next contest or competition. Bye-bye. See you.